call it a rule or a hack, but most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful, these guys are armed. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight. <clears throat> of the post box containing our cargo. Mule drop sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise.
chasing a cargo high. Shame we gotta deal with their bullshit at all. Back in the day, AI did everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles and drones. And all we had to do was sit back and let them work. It was revolutionary. Damn near singularity. No reason for it not to take off. But it didn't. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. So, after some consideration, we put it back in. Made jobs no one really needed and gave them the folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo chasing crazies who get off on hijacking shipments. Jackal's always on the lookout for the next porter. Make sure you're not him. <laughs> Bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Sam, Cairo crystal deliveries are a little different from usual. The process is pretty simple, though. Access the delivery terminal to drop off any Cairo crystals you're carrying. See you around. Shoes holding up. <laughs> Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart. Carry on like that, and it's only a map. I've arranged for boots to bridges standard issue, so they ought you should always but if you forget or run into trouble. to a chiral printer, an extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine, that it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. 
One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work. Crystals for us? These crystals only form in places with elevated carillion levels, which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. Not a bad hole at all. Plenty enough for research. We'll take good care of them. Excess chiral crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local... Oh, before I forget. This is for you. That's container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with time fall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. There is a correlation between elevated corellium levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry though, local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has it. schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation. 
after which you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it... Thank you. 